Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so as promised this video is gonna be about how exactly to start Bitcoin trading and all the required things that you should be ready with okay now please note that if we cover the entire content in a single video then the video is gonna be super long which I'm sure uh, no one would be and would want it to be so I will cover the topics in two separate videos okay and I hope that would be fine with you guys so moving on uh, to the first topic uh, let, let, let me go ahead and cover it right from the basics as I told you in the uh, previous video that I'll be covering everything from the scratch okay so first thing first what is a Bitcoin okay so Bitcoin in layman's term is a digital currency and what do we mean uh, by Bitcoin trading or in general cryptocurrency trading is cryptocurrency trading is a general work okay it's a general word below which we have multiple number of cryptos okay so out of those cryptos Bitcoin is one of the cryptocurrency and in this video we will talk only about Bitcoin because that is the one on which we are focusing on that is the one on which we will be trading on okay so I hope you're clear so when we say Bitcoin in very simple words it means a digital currency okay the way we have physical money like we can physically touch a hundred rupees note or physically touch a one rupees coin or a two rupees coin we cannot really do a physical touch of the Bitcoin and that's why it's called a digital currency okay so the idea of Bitcoin started uh, way back in Jan 2009 and the main reason why it came into existence was because it offered a promise of low transaction fees in comparison to the online payment mechanism that we have okay so this is the very basic of what a Bitcoin actually is how it came into existence and if you want to know more uh, about this particular thing then please feel free to google it around and you will find tons of info in regards to Bitcoin okay and I'm really sorry for not continuing on this topic because we have tons of info over the internet and if you are really interested to dig in uh, to the theory of Bitcoin then you can do it by yourself okay my objective here is to let you know what exactly should be done so that you can trade Bitcoin and earn money from it okay so having that said let me jump on to the next topic why to trade Bitcoin now first thing first or the first and the foremost thing that you must realize before jumping into uh, the intraday Bitcoin business is that how is your personality or what kind of a person are you if you are a kind of a guy who cannot handle volatility or freezes when you see a very fast move happening then Bitcoin intraday trading is not for you okay this market is very volatile and is very very fast so you need to have that amount of expertise and speed to execute your orders accordingly and to make decisions accordingly okay and if you are a guy who can handle volatility and can execute the orders really well in adverse situations by making the right decisions then this market can fetch you with some really good money okay so that was one thing second thing that you need to take care is if you are a guy who is trading in a different segment like maybe equity cash or futures or options but is not able to make consistent money in those markets and is thinking that if I switch the segment to Bitcoin trading then maybe that uh, my luck will work or my luck will click and I will start making money over there then 
it is a straight no no for those kind of people please understand the fact that if you are making money in one segment then you can make money in any other segment okay and if you are unable to make money in one segment then you will not be able to make money in any other segment as well okay the reason being it takes the same technical analysis to earn it takes the same amount of focus and dedication to earn and it takes the same amount of discipline to earn in every single segment so if you are able to follow this these things sorry if so if you are not able to follow these things in one segment then obviously you cannot follow these things even if you switch to any other segment to that matter of fact okay now i'm not demoralizing anyone here but this is a hard fact that needs to be accepted okay in fact my in fact by uh, stating these facts i am saving your time and energy and money your mental tensions and what not yeah so take the call very wisely and thank me for that if you want to okay now getting on to the next topic what is the platform to be used to trade bitcoin okay now we are getting into the real bitcoin business okay so in order to trade bitcoin you need to know uh, what all platforms that you have to use right without using those platforms you cannot trade the way we trade equity cash if you don't have a platform uh, and that platform what i mean is the broker okay it might be any broker so that broker provides us a platform to trade right so similarly in bitcoin also we need to know what platform we need to use in order to trade bitcoin okay so when it comes to the platforms we have two parts of it okay basically we need we need to use two platforms one platform will be used to put in your INR that is Indian rupees and convert it into USD and then transfer that USD to the other platform where you will be trading the bitcoin okay another platform will be used to just trade bitcoin so these are the two platforms which you have to use if you are into bitcoin trading okay now i will go ahead and explain the platforms that i use but please be informed that there are many other platforms that exist in order to achieve what i just talked about so if you want then you can explore or research further on that particular thing and take your decisions or else you can just follow what i am sharing here in this video okay so let me go ahead and name those platforms the first platform is called as binance okay this is the platform that you will use to convert your inr to usd and transfer those usd to the other platform to the second platform where you will trade bitcoin okay now coming to the second platform the second platform is called delta dot exchange this is the platform that you will use to trade bitcoin in real time okay i hope i hope you're clear till this point okay now let's uh, take it up uh, one after the other let's jump into binance and let me show you how would you put your inr into binance and then convert it into usd and then transfer those usd to the delta dot exchange platform okay i have already made a video on this wherein i am putting around 1000 rupees Uh, in there and then converting it into usd and then transferring those usd to the delta dot exchange okay so let's watch that video and i will keep explaining the stuffs as it goes on okay so let's get on to the video right let me start the video all right so first thing first the screen that you see here if you see on the left top corner this is the delta dot exchange uh, website okay just type in delta dot exchange and you will get this particular web page okay now first you need to get on to delta dot exchange and you need to click on deposit here okay let me start the video
Okay, the reason why I'm showing that particular profile is because you need to first create a profile in Delta.exchange and only after that you will be able to log in and then you can deposit the money. Okay, so if you are not registered, then you will not get all these things coming up. Okay, so make sure that you register yourself first and when you click on this profile, you will get your email ID and an user ID will be generated for you. Okay, so if you get these two things, then you know that you have registered on Delta Dot Exchange and you can start using it. Okay. Right. So these are the two things that you will get. And then we click on deposit. It will take us to a different page. And as you can see here on the left uh, panel, we have a lot of options, but we have to click on deposit. And here we have all the coins the cryptocurrencies to be specific okay so the first one is the btc that is the bitcoin the second one is the usdt that is t stands for tether i will explain it in the next video okay uh, the next one is deto deto is one of the uh, currencies uh, which belongs to delta dot exchange that is a new thing that has come up okay uh, then comes the uh, ethereum and then comes this uh, xrp which is the ripple xrp okay so these are the various cryptocurrencies or the various coins that we have here okay we have to click on usdt once you click on usdt you will get these options okay please note that you will have two options here the first one is erc20 and the second one is bep20 okay now you have to always use the second one that is bep20 never use erc20 the first one because the amount charged for transferring the money or for converting uh, your INR to USD is really, really high if you check the first option. Okay, they, ch they charge around 25 to $35 just to do that job. Okay, we don't have to pay so much. Okay, so go for the second op option, which is BEP20 in brackets BSC. Okay, here they will charge you around just $0.8. That will be around uh, 8 cents. Okay, so the difference is huge, right? If you go for the first option that is ERC20, you are being charged around $25 to $30. But if you go for the second option that is BP20, you are just being charged with $0.8. Okay, so always go for the second option. Once you click on the second option, as you can see here, you will get a deposit address. Now, how to use this deposit address, I will be explaining in a while. But as of now, just know that you have to click on BEP20 and you will see this deposit address and you don't have to do anything after that. Okay, post that, post you see the deposit address. We need to get on to the Binance website. This is the Binance website. Okay, on the top left corner, you can see Binance.com. Okay, you go there again, you have to register yourself first. Now, this is a very secure website, guys. So it might take some time for you to register yourself because it will ask many things like your government proof. It will ask for your selfies. It will ask uh, to take pictures of your straight face, uh, turn your face left, turn your face right. All those stuff are there. So it will take some time. Uh, max to max, uh, you should be done with it within 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, but a bit longer process okay so make sure that you register yourself first and once you are registered you can log in okay so you click on login and you will get this page enter your email id and the password that you have set uh, when registering yourself and then you will get this uh, small task which needs to be completed. You have to align that picture and then it will take you in. Okay. Oh, sorry. Then it will ask you for the, for the verification code. Okay. So use the phone number that you have used while registering yourself. Enter the phone number and click on get the code. And once you get the code on your mobile, you have to enter it here. Okay and then click on submit and then it takes you in 
okay so this is the home page that you will get on the binance website okay now if you can see here we have many options here right we don't have to concentrate on all of them the only thing on which we need to concentrate is on trade okay let me play the video okay you click on trade and click on p2p okay that will take you to the other page and this page is quite important now it's giving you some important notices okay you have to click on okay please make sure that you read all the stuffs because you uh, you will see a lot of pop-ups coming up on Binance because uh, this is something which is money related right and especially uh, it is the cryptos that we are dealing with so they are making sure that at every step they give you a disclaimer kind of thing okay so make sure that you read all the pop-ups that are coming up and then uh, go ahead with that okay now once you get on to this page let me explain it a bit here okay because this is important the first thing that you need to select is buy by default there will be uh, the option will be on buy but again if at all it is on sell change it to buy because here we will be buying the usd by giving thousand rupees we will be buying the usd okay so click on buy and click on usdt and here make sure that you change this particular currency to INR okay let me play the video okay so select by select USDT amount here you need to enter the amount that you want to convert so in this video I am converting thousand rupees into USD that is the reason why I am putting 1000 rupees there and if you can see here that is 1000 CNY here some currency so here you need to go ahead and change CNY to INR okay click on the drop down type in INR and select INR so now it will be 1000 INR again a pop-up okay just click on continue okay so now it is 1000 1000 INR now the list that you see here you see a lot of people here right uh, Whipple, uh, USD King, uh, Prashant Patel, Chaitanya, thank you all these are some uh, user IDs that has been created who want to sell the USD okay so you will be buying the usd and these people will be selling the usd to you okay now since you are trying to buy only thousand usd you need to make sure that here it should be mentioned as thousand now let's for example whipple is a guy who is ready to sell the usd but he is ready to sell the usd worth 10,000 rupees till uh, 17,940.27 rupees okay we don't fall in this range right we fall in the thousand range so we will avoid these people none of these people are interested in selling uh, 1000 uh, uh, like uh, the USD is worth 1000 rupees okay so we need to find a seller who is ready for 1000 INR okay how do we do that we have to just click on search okay let me play the video here and I'm just explaining the stuff which I uh, just explained before some time so nobody here is interested in uh, selling 1000 uh, sell, selling the USD for 1000 so we click on search again and now as you can see here Yashpal is one of the users who is ready to sell USD worth rupees 1000 rupees okay here 1000 so this guy has a limit of 1000 to 3485.32 rupees so this is the guy whom from whom we will be buying the usd okay and here just have a check these are the payment methods that this particular user supports so yeshpal supports upi supports phone pay and supports google pay okay so once you are sure about these things you have to click 
on by USD. Okay. Just a moment. Right. Click on buy USD. It will take you to this particular page. On the left hand side, you will get some information. On the right hand side, uh, right hand side, you will get I want to pay how much. So we are paying thousand rupees. We want to convert thousand rupees into USD, right? So put in thousand there. Okay, one thousand, and it will immediately show you how many USD it is. Okay, please don't confuse between USD and USDT. Okay, there is no difference between the value of USD and the value of USDT. Both are absolutely the same. Okay, so one thousand INR is equal to twelve point four five USD. Okay, and you can see here the price as a uh, the price when I was converting it was around uh, 80.27 uh, INR. Okay, right. Available was around 18.52 USDT. Okay, but these details are not required. Just concentrate on this one. So you know that if you are converting 1000 rupees into USD, then 12.45 is the USD which you will be getting. Okay, and then you click on buy USDT. Okay, just a moment. Yeah, click on buy USDT. That will take you to another page. Okay, now this is something which was new to me. Okay, this was the second transaction that I uh, was making. The first transaction which I made was uh, on 27th, I believe, because that was the day on which I started the Bitcoin trading, if you remember. Okay, I had mentioned it in my previous video. So at that time, when I was converting my INR into USD, this was not uh, this didn't come up this particular thing uh, ad has been updated please refresh the ads list okay so i got confused and i tried it again let me show you i clicked on got it and i again clicked on buy usdt okay again i clicked on buy usdt and it threw me with the same message ad has been updated please refresh the ads list now this simply means that yeshpal this user who was ready to sell his usds is not available anymore okay maybe uh, his uh, maybe he has finished all his usdts or whatever reason it may be okay but what this particular message uh, means is Yeshpal is not available to sell the USDTs. So the simple thing that we need to do here is we need to find another user. As simple as that. Okay. So let me play the video. I clicked on got it. And I searched for another user. Okay. So we will get back to the uh, initial screen in some time. Just a moment. Huh? So I pause the video. <laughs> I paused the I stopped the video to find out what actually happened and then I again started the video and again if you see here uh, I clicked on search and we got another user name as uh, PATLG uh, I think uh, it is Patel G who is ready to uh, have a limit of uh, you know 1000 INR Okay, so this guy's limit is from 1000 uh, INR to 26,929.92 rupees and this fits us perfectly. And here, these are the payment modes that he supports. Uh, he supports UPI, uh, IMPS, Phone Pay, and Google Pay. Okay, so again, we have to click on Buy USDT. Okay. And again, we will get on to the same page. Yeah, you... Uh, want to pay again you have to fill in 1000 and that converts into usd that is 12.45 usd and then you click on buy usdt and if you see here uh, it's uh, written successfully placed an order okay that is the message you will get and then it will take you to a different page okay so this is the page which it will take to. Let me pause the video here. Okay. Now you can go through all the details here. Not quite important. But again, the thing that you need to do now is 
you need to pay the user so till now you have not paid those hundred uh, sorry thousand rupees to the user right so right now on this page the purpose of this page is for you to pay the amount to the seller okay so let me play the video and uh, if you see here I did the payment uh, on Google Pay, so I will select Google Pay. We have four payment options here. I went for Google Pay and then I went to my mobile, opened the Google Pay app and made the payment to this number, right? So you have to, uh, you have to manually feed in this number to the payment thing. I mean, the way you pay it, either you enter a number or you scan a code right on on the google pay app so go to the google pay app on a mobile and enter this number and pay him or her 1000 rupees okay let me play the video and that was exactly what i was doing at that point in time i was paying this particular user vishal uh, patel on my google pay from my phone okay that is why I, uh, there, there is no activity on the screen here. On the computer screen, there is no activity. Okay. This is the number to which we need to make a payment of 1000 rupees. And once that is done, on the bottom, you see a button that is transferred notify seller. Once the payment is made on the Google Pay app, you need to come here and click on Transferred Notify Seller. So what that will do is it will notify the seller that he has been paid with 1000 rupees. Okay, and then we need to wait for some time. Okay, now if you see here, uh, buy USDT from Patelji, waiting for payment confirmation from the seller to release order. 95% of the seller's orders have been completed within three minutes. Okay, and the same happened with me as well. It took around three minutes for the order to get confirmed. You don't have to do anything at that time. Just sit back and watch this page and it will automatically pop up the completed message after some time. Okay, so let's wait for it. Uh, appeal after 14.28 minutes, all those stuffs uh, it is giving. Like for instance, if something went wrong, then you can appeal after 14 minutes. That is what it means. Or if you want, you can also cancel the order here. Okay. So I'm still waiting for that particular transaction to be processed and completed. So right now it is pending from the seller's end. And once he accepts that particular thing, I will get a completed message here. Okay, so let's wait for that particular message. All right, so this is the one which we were waiting for. Okay, so you'll get this message order completed. Okay, you have successfully purchased 12.45 USD. The thousand rupees has been converted to 12.45 USD. Okay, this is what it means. Okay, so at this point in time, what have you done is you have just converted your INR into USD. Okay, now what we need to do here is we need to see whether that USD has come to the wallet or not. Okay, only after it comes to the wallet, we will withdraw that particular amount and transfer it to the delta.exchange platform okay now to check whether it has come to the wallet or not you have to do this okay yes now you have to click on wallet on the top right corner you see there wallet and click on funding wallet once you click on funding wallet, it will take you to this particular page. I think uh, 
it was slow today i'm not sure why because last time when i clicked on all these things it was super fast but this time it took a couple of seconds to get onto the funding wallet page right so this is the funding wallet page okay and if you see here you have got a lot many options a lot many uh, coins or cryptocurrencies you can see here okay but the one which we are interested in is usdt and here we already have it available right 12.45 dollars now now that it has been updated on the wallet the next thing that we will do is to withdraw this these usd and put it or transfer it to the delta dot exchange platform in order to do that you click on the three dots on the right hand side and click on withdraw don't click on deposit because we are withdrawing those 12.45 dollars and we'll put it in the delta dot exchange website so we are withdrawing the money we are not depositing the money okay so you have to click on withdraw okay click on withdraw that will lead you to this page okay now usd the coin that you see here is already usdt you don't have to change it uh, anyways now coming to the address this address is something which will be fetched from the delta dot exchange website okay if you remember we did it the first thing right that was the first thing that we did on the delta dot exchange let me play the video and you will understand what i'm talking about okay so under address you go to delta dot exchange and here this is the deposit address that i was talking about okay you have to copy this address and paste it on the binance uh, address box here i copied it from there i pasted here okay click on network this is very important okay understand it carefully we have two options or two networks in order to transfer the funds from binance to delta dot exchange okay always go for bsc binance smart chain okay because they charge only 0.8 usdt that will uh, come around hardly 59 to 60 rupees okay if you go for eth ethereum they charge you 35 us dollars that is huge that will like uh, i mean i'm just transferring 12 dollars and in order to transfer 12 dollars if i have to pay 35 dollars that does not make any sense at all right so make sure that you always select the bsc option and you will be charged with just 0.8 usds okay that will be 8 cents only not even a dollar okay that's just 8 cents 80 cents i'm sorry it will be just 80 cents okay so select bsc and then you will get this particular pop-up okay the network you selected is bsc blah 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 and then you have to uh, click on yes i'm sure okay and once you click on yes i'm sure you will get back to this particular page and there under amount just click on max if you click on max that will take the entire amount that has been converted so if i click on max it's showing 12.45 usd that is the entire thousand rupees that has been converted if you want to um, transfer less then then also it's okay you can change it to 10 usd or 5 usd whatever you want okay but in my case i was uh, wanting to transfer the entire amount so i clicked on max okay <coughs> sorry about that so click on max and it will uh, transfer the entire amount and then you have to click on funding wallet by default that is the one which will be selected okay just make sure that it is selected and then you click on withdraw okay right we click on withdraw Okay, one more thing I forgot to mention here is you remember that uh, 80 cents that uh, was charged uh, in order to transfer this USDs from Binance to Delta Dot Exchange. So after detect deducting that uh, 0.80 cents or 0.80 dollars, 
it becomes 11.65 USD. Okay, so 12.45 was the one which was converted. Your thousand rupees was converted into 12.45. So from 12.45, those 0 0.80 dollars were deducted, and the final amount comes to 11.65 USD. So this is the amount that will be transferred to your Delta Dot Exchange. And this is the amount using which you can trade Bitcoins on the Delta Dot Exchange platform. Okay, so I hope that is clear, right? So we click on withdraw. Right, and then we get this particular uh, pop-up again. BAC selected as the transfer network. Few platforms support BAC network. Please confirm that the receiving platform supports this particular network. We know that it supports the receiving platform here is nothing but the Delta Dot Exchange platform. Okay, so you click on confirm. Yeah. <clears throat> and then a warning again. Click on the checkbox here. Uh, they are giving some disclaimers. Okay, click on this checkbox and click on confirm. And then you get a summary kind of thing. So the amount that will be received uh, on the Delta Dot Exchange uh, platform will be 11.65. Okay, this is the address that you copied. If you remember, this is the network that we are using for the transfer. And the source is the funding wallet from the Binance website. Okay, so you click on continue. Right, so this is a summary and then you click on continue. And here again, you need to verify uh, the codes. Okay, so one code will be sent to your phone number. The other code will be sent to your email address. Okay, now here also we, fa uh, sorry, I faced some issues. I will let you know what it was. Uh, the code was sent seamlessly to my mobile phone and I entered it here. But when I was trying to enter my email address, yes, on this box, when I was trying to enter my email address, I was not able to type. This was quite new to me because the, uh, the last time on 27th of Jan, when I did the same thing, it allowed me to type my email address here. But this time it did not allow me. Okay, so I just uh, gave it a try wherein I opened my notepad typed in my uh, email address okay and copy pasted it here and that worked okay so if you would face the same issue while uh, doing this thing from your end make sure that you type in your email address on a notepad and copy and paste it uh, on this particular box okay that will take your email address i was trying to do the same thing at this uh, point in time so i was taking some time i was not sure what needs to be done so i just stopped the video for some time and uh, did that particular thing and it worked okay i again i thought there might be some problem uh, with the verification from the phone end so i again regenerated a code and it was sent to my mobile number i re-entered that and then again when i was trying to type my email address Again, it was not allowing me to type in. Okay, so luckily that struck my mind and it did work as well. So it's well and good. So I was struggling a bit at that point in time. I'm sorry for that particular time. I stopped the recording again. And this is the time when I copy pasted my email address from the notepad onto this particular box and uh, it took it successfully. Okay. So this code will be sent to your registered email address. You have to check your email and then you put in your uh, verification code here and then you click on submit. <clears throat> right. You click on submit. And again, it will give you this pop up. And it will tell you here that your withdrawal request is being uh, reviewed and will take approximately 12 hours. Okay, it never takes 12 hours. 
okay it's a matter of just four to five minutes it will be done in four to five minutes okay so don't uh, be worried after seeing this message it will be surely completed within four to five minutes okay so you click on complete and then you wait okay so in the meantime i also went to the delta dot exchange to uh, check uh, if uh, that particular usd has been transferred from binance or not uh, so i went to the delta exchange home page and clicked on that uh, um, wallet you see that wallet right uh, that will uh, tell you how much money you have in your wallet so right now i have around 24.74 dollars uh, initially <clears throat> i started with uh, uh, 12 dollars i mean whatever the value is uh, after converting that those thousand rupees right so it was around 11.25 dollars i believe right so i started with 11.25 dollars uh, and within one and a half to two days i have increased those to 24.74 dollars okay so again uh, again, $11.25 will be added on to this $24.74, okay? So as of now, it has not been uh, transferred. So that is what I was checking here, okay? So we will get back to the Binance website again. And there, uh, we have an option uh, where we can check here, recent withdrawals. You see, uh, the one which I made on 27th of Jan, it was completed. And the one which I have made right now is under processing, if you see there, right? It is under processing. So we need to wait. It will be done in another four to five minutes and the status will be showing as completed. Okay, it will be converted from processing to completed. And then you can get back to the Delta.exchange website and check on your wallet, whether, that, uh, whether those USDs have been transferred successfully or not. Okay, so I'm just stopping the video again and again just to make sure that I don't record everything. So as you can see here, uh, uh, the transaction which was done uh, has also been completed. Okay, now we will get on to the Binance, sorry, get on to the Delta.exchange website and we will check the wallet and it should have increased. Now see here, it is $36.39. Okay, so the amount that we just converted, those $11.25, those has been added to the $24 that I was having. And right now, uh, the updated one is $36.39. Okay, so this is the exact thing uh, that you need to follow. I'm really, really sorry that I'm dragging this video so long, but I just wanted to make sure that everything is crystal clear and you get a live feeling of what exactly needs to be done. Okay, that is the reason why I have not skipped anything and I have made you wait on the web pages for the confirmations and all the other stuff. So I'm really sorry for that. But I believe that the work has been done. Okay, whatever I wanted to convey, that has been conveyed uh, quite clearly. Okay, so that was the video. Now let's get back uh, to the presentation here. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> Right. So this is how you do it, guys. Okay. I hope I have explained it very clearly as to what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. And we will wrap it up here as of now, uh, as the video has been dragged enough. Okay. In the next video, I will explain about Delta dot exchange. Okay. In details, wherein you will know every aspect of it and will be, uh, you will be able to have a commandable cognizance in regards to Bitcoin trading. Okay, so we request you all not to miss the second part of this particular series and I will catch you all up in the next video. Okay, so that's all from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video, I have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video, the I symbol that you see there, you can click on it and watch my previous video. And uh, as always, we request you all to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get some more information about HYIT that might be helpful to you in some way or the other. And please feel free to ask your questions or queries, if any, in the comment section and I will surely reply back to them. And also, please do not forget to like this particular video if you liked it. Okay, so that's all from my end and I will see you all later. Hope you all will stick back. Happy trading and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.